two years ago, I had what you might call a moment. I was at the pub and I was drunk. You know the kind of drunk where it doesn't matter if your eyes are open or closed. You know that kind of a drunk, the best kind. And it struck me. I realized I've wasted my entire life. I've wasted my entire life doing nothing but drinking. Nothing but drinking. Day, evening, night. Nothing but drinking. And I sat there at the pub and I said, that's it. No more for me. This here, this is the last beer I'll ever have. And I pounded it back and I threw it back across the bar. And then no word of a lie. The skies opened, and I was bathed in a golden divine light, and the word beer appeared in the heavens above me in letters 100 feet tall carved out of solid marble, which was a fucking miracle when you remember I was standing in the pub at the time. And I could hear the voices of an angelic host, the choir celestial, all singing and arguing and fighting and vomiting in the sky. And then a voice as deep as the ocean and as rich as an investment banker's golden parachute called out to me. Rory, it said. I, said I, as you would too if you were suddenly addressed thusly from the heavens. Rory, beer is beer. You are? Beer is, no, 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 I heard you the first time I said it's just, seriously. You woke the choir up for that. You woke them up to tell me that beer is beer. I mean, I could have told you that myself before getting out of bed this morning. I'm going through a bit of a crisis here, a bit of an evolution as a human being. I'm rejecting alcohol in all its forms. I'm taking up exercise for Christ's sake. Can you tell me that beer is beer? And then it struck me. Beer is beer. Holy Christ, beer is beer. Do you not see it? Beer is beer. B-E-E-R, B-E, to be, to exist, to live. E-R, a suffix we used to emphasize the word that came before it. Longer, long, but more so. Stronger, strong, but more so. Faster, fast, but more so. Beer, to live, but more so. Now, I'm not a religious man, but from that moment on, I became a devout practitioner of transcendental intoxication. That was my I am who am moment. And when I tell other people about this, they all look at me and go, ah, fuck off, Rory. You're nothing but an old drunk. <laughs> an old drunk. You're damn right, I am an old drunk. Drunk, D-R-U-N-K. D-R, doctor. A PhD, a fucking expert. Onk, an ancient Egyptian symbol for life. Drunk, an expert in life. And when I get even drunker, what am I? An expert in life, but even more so. I'm like, what's that? Then the master builders in the Lego movie, right? You know, the whole world is made up of codes and sequences and instructions, and I can read the code. I can read it. Slut. S L U T. Slut. S L U. Slew a lot of T. A wee little thing for holding balls. Slut. Someone who holds a lot of balls, right? Politics. Poly. Ticks. Poly. Many. Ticks. Blood sucking disease spreading vermin. So many people out there are going to argue about that definition of the world. I think not. Apocalypse. What do you think apocalypse means? The end of the world? No, not to the transcendentally intoxicated. To the transcendentally intoxicated, apocalypse means this. A-P-O-C-A, -A, a polka, a form of Central European music or dance featuring accordion. Lips, the two fleshy things that form the edges of the mouth. Apocalypse, the shape your mouth makes when you're suddenly confronted with music or dance featuring an accordion. I mean, come on, nobody likes that shape, right? Just think about what I'm telling you. Transcendental intoxication can set you free. Marriage, M-A-R, mar, to ruin, R-I, re, regarding or about. Age, a great number of years, ice age, stone age, bronze age. Marriage, about to ruin a great number of years. Now I'm not saying you should join my religion, fuck that. I'm not even saying that I have a religion, but I am saying that there are certain advantages to being transcendentally intoxicated. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go to the beer store and pick up communion for my next prayer meeting.